these wrong answer of the game sponsors, these, these can't be real, yes? They're, they're absurd. Look, if the price tag is high enough, I'll say whatever the hell you want, but I mean, <laughs> come on. Come on down to Barbecue Street all week for some great deals on food and fixes. Mondays, it's 25% off Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings. Tuesdays, it's 50% off whatever Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings are left over from Monday. Wednesday, we've got 10% off our famous Dry Spice Ribs. But make sure to come back on Thursday for 60% off a sampler platter of Monday's leftover Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings and Wednesday's Dry Spice Ribs. Fridays, we kick things up a notch when you can get a free order of Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings and Dry Spice Ribs Soup just for walking in the door. And you're not going to want to miss Saturdays when we'll give you 10 bucks just to take some of these rotten chicken wings and ribs out of here. You don't even have to eat them. You just have to take them with you. Sundays were closed to hose the place down. Barbecue Street. You're probably going to want to come in on Monday. Anton Jones was the greatest detective in the world. I noticed a gray speck on your jacket, which could only have come from a quarry upstate. Gentlemen, the murderer is the mayor. But after a terrible accident... I'm afraid his body won't make it, but we can save his brainwaves. The greatest mind in the world now resides in a pocket calculator. Where am I? No! And with the help of a friend, he'll crack the case and crunch some numbers. Don't you see, John? There's no way his wife could have killed him. That's great. But how much should I leave for this tip? Oh, uh, 15% of 2850 is, uh... From the producers of Tommy Gulch, Attorney Stripper, comes Calculator Jones P.I. Any last words, Calculator Jones? Boobs? <laughs> Boobs. Free! Police! I'll be back on the street in no time! Then I guess I'll calc you later. Just a quick reminder to ask Cookie if he's lost any weight lately, even though he clearly hasn't. So this telecommuting thing... I mean, are people getting sick of Andy being on the TV? Shouldn't he be here? Well, I mean, that's why, I mean, that's why I'm hoping this telecommuting thing works, because then, you know, once they can figure out how to get the, the ions and the particles, and then you can... Right, like in Star Trek, is that what you're talking about? No, he's just on the TV on a camera. He's not actually here. Right, but he's, it's part of the tele... He's trying to... What they're trying to do is zap him. That's it. Piddle Paddle! That's right! Hey guys, what you playing? Piddle Paddle! Piddle Paddle? Can I play? Sure, just roll the dice. And... Piddle Paddle? That's right! Piddle Paddle! Just roll the dice again and... Piddle Paddle? That's right! So I just move my piece around the board after I roll the dice and... Piddle Paddle! Wow, you landed in the Rainbow Castle! You're a natural! Yes, Piddle Paddle! It's the hot new game that everyone's dying to play! Woohoo! So now I'm in the murky swamp and... Piddle Paddle! What? No, what are you doing? I rolled a four! Piddle Paddle! Are you trying to be funny? Typical Carol. Let's go. You're uninvited to the wedding. Piddle Paddle? Ugh, don't you hate going to the movies by yourself? I mean, I do. We have so much in common. I mean, maybe you and I should sometime. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, whatever. I guess there aren't any good movies showing right now anyway, so never mind. Forget I said anything. That was stupid. <laughs> this message paid for by people who think you and Tina should go out on a date sometime just to see how it goes. That's so embarrassing. I did not put them up to that. Also paid for by Tina. Uh, has anyone seen Nate Shapiro? He hasn't come into the office in, like, 15 years.
pardon me. Whoa, dude. What the f*** are you eating, man? Just some f***ing baby carrots, bro. Whoa, but they look like big carrots, only way f***ing smaller. That's just f***ing it. I don't have time to f***ing eat an adult f***ing carrot, but with baby carrots, I can pop one in and be on my way. No f***ing way. Baby carrots. They're so f***ing tiny. Gang, have you felt tired from all that racket and ballyhoo from the so-called music festivals that the teenage beatniks and ruffians do? Or well, isn't it time to hop to having the music festival that go darn plays real music that mature adults and growing up older people like all of us and you can enjoy? Then come on down to the Hutchinson Community Park for Palooza. We got Jerry Gorkin's medium-sized band, the Waltzaholics, assorted Bob Hope impersonators, the Sounds of the Price is Right, the Muzak Ramblers, Wind Chimes, Bingo, McDonald's Coffee, and a half dozen music boxes that play music. All the fun times and goings about begins at 7 a.m. this Thursday. And don't you worry, Missy, it's over by 2, so you have plenty of time to ski battle on home before the drug dealers come out and deal their their drugs. Take it from me, old man. Hey, can I take this microphone home with me? Huh? Do what? Yeah, okay, I'll just put it down. Okay, everybody, if you're not sure what to do right now, maybe just fiddle with some knobs, try to look busy. Are you moving? Do you need some strong guys to help you move? Are you emotionally cold or in need of a psychological breakthrough? Then call three strong guys, emotional movers. Could you be careful with the bookcase? It's an antique. No problem. Hey, are you okay? Uh, I just got promoted and all my dad said was, guess you're not so dumb after all. Sometimes older men have a hard time expressing emotion, and they hide the love behind sarcasm and humor. Trust me, he's proud. Maybe you should give him a call. I don't know. I've already got him on the phone. Son? Is that you? I love you, Dad. I love you, son. So give us a call and let us help you move. Also, it's okay to forgive yourself. I just showered, but I still smell kind of funky. Did you remember to clean your entire body? Well, I mean, I tried, but there are so many body parts to remember. That's why you need the shower list. The shower list? A helpful list of all your body parts that need to be cleaned. It's just a little piece of paper. Yes, but it's waterproof. So I can take it in the shower. Let's see, I washed that, I washed that, I washed those. Okay, yeah. I forgot my butt. Use the shower list and never forget to wash your butt or any other part of your body ever again. Thanks. Don't thank me. Thank shower list. Thanks, shower list. Now, could you get out of my shower? Ooh, yeah. Sorry. I'm just passionate about the product. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah cookie, cookie, I took, I took a, a poll, poll in the office and we all thought that gravity was worth seeing in the theater. Okay, agree to disagree. I thought it was way better on my iPod Shuffle. Can someone please mop up that melted bronze? Someone's gonna step so in that. she's like, don't give me the office birthday card if there's nowhere left to sign it. She's like, where am I supposed to sign it? On the back, next to the credits, like a dog? And if we could refrain from any sort of offensive language on set, that would be great. Just, uh, we don't want to single out any groups. So again, if everyone could just refrain from any offensive slurs or language. Thank you. Hello, I'm Phil in Tehadsti. Are you, are you like me or hundreds of others across the country that suffer from a debilitating fear of, a debilitating fear of microphones? You don't have to go it alone.
Come to the basement of St. Olaf's Church this Thursday at 5.30. For support group unlike any other. <sighs> Microphonophobics united, stand together. Because facing your fears is a must. Must. Which stands for Microphonophobics united, stand together. Get me out of here. Hi, I'm Tony Pancheesi, owner of DIY Spaghetti Emporium, where DIY stands for do it yourself. I mean it. I don't have any staff, so you're doing everything in this restaurant for yourself. And my name isn't Tony Pellucci. You're waiting your own table. You're cooking your own meal. And buddy, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean, capiche? So now you think your night's over because your family's done eating, huh? We close at 11.30. So get your ass back out there and wait on that two-top in section four. Nobody ducks out early on me, come on pedestro. And have you seen the state of those bathrooms? One of the women's toilets has a clog that could choke a horse. So if you're ready for a home-cooked Italian meal and earn half the minimum wage, come on down to DIY Spaghetti Emporium. Ask for me, Rachel Hanrahan. Uh, could we get one of the writers in here for some more pre-show announcements? I feel like I've said some of these a couple times already. So I realize I've forgotten my bag, and I go back into the office to get it. And there they are, all the security guards, dressed up like us, shouting our catchphrases. Uh, Penelope? Penelope, do you think that that's how your costume is supposed to look? Really, you do. Hi, I'm Mike Builder, General Manager of Jackbox Games. We've been hard at work coming up with new ways that you and your friends and family can play You Don't Know Jack. Don't have a lot of game controllers? Not a problem, because you can play this very game using your phone or tablet as a controller. But that's just the beginning. In the coming years, it's my hope that instead of using a regular controller, you'll be able to play our games using a regular TV remote, a calculator, a block of wood with buttons crudely drawn onto it, or even a garage door opener. But why stop there? We're hard at work making game controllers out of shoes, coffee table books about Paris, electric toothbrushes, farts, family pets, and maybe someday, your own mind. My coworkers tell me that most of these are technically impossible, but we already have it working on phones and tablets, and luckily I don't entirely know what the word impossible means. I think the word possible is in there somewhere, so that sounds promising. So if you love You Don't Know Jack, hopefully you'll eventually be playing our other games like Fibbage and Everybody Help Grandma using just a half-eaten turkey sandwich as a controller. I'm Mike Builder, and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Hi, my name's Terry, and if you're gonna die, come on down to Cemetery's Mortuary. Why? Hit it, guys. Where do you go when someone needs to be buried? Cemetery! Single plots or doubles if you were married. Cemetery! We'll bury you deep and we'll pack the dirt firm. Our caskets are airtight to keep out the worms. We'll water your grass, treat your headstone with care, and that's about it, cause you ain't going nowhere. Cemetery! No matter who you are, you have dreams. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a doctor. A dinosaur. And Angie's Ice Creamery wants to hear them. Come into any Angie's to tell us your dream, and you'll get a dreamsicle absolutely free. I want to be a teacher. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be a surfer. 
Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be best friend with a horse. Here's a free dreamsicle. Is this where we tell the dreams? It sure is. I'm standing naked, looking into a mirror. My face is not my own. A small fire burns besides me and I face it. A young calf slowly melts into the flames. It looks at me and speaks. This is what remembering does, it says. And then I'm in a field, it's raining. I cannot move my legs, but steadily I go forward. Through the tall grass towards a grave. I cannot read it, but I do not need to. This grave is mine. And then I wake up. Um, do you want a dreamsicle? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, everything is pleasant now. What are all you kids looking at? <laughs> Angie's Ice Creamery. It's a dream come true. My name is Jaden Funk, and I want to teach you slam poetry. But talk is cheap, right? Cheap like a toy made in China by kids in sweatshops working 9 to 5 like Dolly Parton. The interruption. But North Korea just dropped a nuclear bomb on us. Just like I dropped a bomb. Mom and Dad, I'm not running the family business. Mom and Dad, I want to be a slam poet artist. To be happy like a megastore smiley face, you have to wear a matching vest just like everybody else. Ding dong, ding dong. Welcome to heaven. The most powerful words to any true-blooded American. So talk isn't cheap, but my class is. Fifty dollars for the eight-week session at the Rosewood Adult Learning Center. Hope to see you there. Uh, Cookie, no, we didn't install a urinal in the studio, so we're gonna send someone in to clean that up. And not my problem. Intern, I need some help with my zipper. And now, relax into Downward Dog. Ooh, what's wrong, Susan? Is this yoga class too hard? No, I had a burrito for lunch and I'm feeling gassy. Honey, this is Sweet Relief Yoga Studio. We don't hold anything back. Now, swing your foot into Warrior 2. Whoa, did she just? Uh-huh. And that's okay? Does that answer your question? Hi, I'm Carol Cutter, and here at Sweet Relief Yoga Studio, we believe letting go leads to true health. Oh. <coughs> Hold on, I'm gagging. True health. True health is what I was going to say. Introducing your face's new best friend. Say goodbye to dry skin and wrinkles. Bye. Goodbye. See ya. Say hello to healthy, radiant, beautiful skin. Well, hello there. Oh, hey. Hi. Because you're never too old to look 10 years younger. Yes, please. Yes, please. All new Virgin Blood Face Mask. I can feel it working already. No harsh chemicals, just 100% all natural blood from a dying virgin. And a pinch of black magic. Shh, don't. What price will you pay for youthful skin? Anything! 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 Kill her! Virgin Blood Face Masks, only $10.99 a bottle. That's actually really reasonable. This is You Don't Know Jack 2015. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. And hey, wipe that smile off your face. This is serious. <laughs> okay, just kidding. There will be parts and stuff. Well, look at this triumvirate of brainiosity -ism You all take care of those screws now. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button, and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... The San Francisco Otter Choir. Free concerts every Wednesday, except for mating season. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> okay, it's time. Get ready, time for question. One. Let's start with... Bootyful. 
Let's analyze one of Kim Kardashian's body parts. About what percentage of Kim Kardashian's brain is just made up of water? 10%, 40%, 80%, or 100%? Player three, who's getting the screw job? Uh, player three? Did you really mean to choose yourself? I only ask because most people like to keep their cash. Can we continue now? Players one and two? Kim Kardashian's brain, and everybody else's brain for that matter, is made up of about 80% water. But that other 20% is just so round and firm, I can't stop thinking about it. Here's one for you. His acting is alright, alright, alright. So, you know how they called Matthew McConaughey's resurgence as an actor his McConaissance? Well, if Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? The McConaughey Dark Ages, the McConaughey Industrial Age, the McConaughey Middle Ages, or the McConaughey Enlightenment Age? Time is short. Players 1 and 2. The Renaissance first occurred in Italy in the late 14th century, immediately following the Middle Ages. So the Meconaissance would follow the Meconna Middle Ages. Which is funny because most Renaissance sculptures also need to put on a damn shirt. Dance with me, Disco 3. Why not try? Brought to you by the letter U. Nebrow. It's the put the choices into order and buzz in and see if you are right. Question. And if you get this one right, I'll rustle up some extra moolah for you. Arrange the Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most eyebrows. Bert, Ernie, the Count. Ernie, Bert, the Count. Bert, Ernie, the Count. The Count, Bert, Ernie, or Ernie, the Count, Bert. Watch your clock! Player two? Ooh, ouch. Player <laughs> one. Ernie has no eyebrows at all, Bert has one long single eyebrow, and the Count has two. Two eyebrows! <laughs> That'll net you an extra grand. And yet, none of them have ever blinked. Try this on for size. Duck Duck Swan? Say the cast of Duck Dynasty attends a performance of Swan Lake and thinks there are real waterfowl on stage. In their confusion, which character would they most likely shoot? Siegfried, Benno, Von Rothbart, or Odette? Watch the time! Players 1 and 2? Odette is a princess who has been turned into a swan, so the Duck Dynasty crew would probably fill her full of lead. Especially if they find out she once fooled around with a lady swan in college. Buck her up for... The man in the backwards yellow hat. And it's a dis or dat. Player three? Go ahead and take this dis or dat. See if you can increase your cash a bit. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's... An alleged antic by pop star Justin Bieber, or... An antic by the classic children's book character, Curious George. If it's Justin Bieber, press the X button. If it's Curious George, Press the B button. Now, I need the rest of you to pay attention. Lock in your answers before player three. If player three gets it wrong, I'll split up that cash to everyone who got it right. 
Okay, we're off. Peed in a mop bucket. Baby, 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 ooh! I think we can all agree that it's time for that little bastard to get deported. And then it's your turn, Bieber. <laughs> Round one is complete, and player one is winning. Let's see if they stay there. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. And don't forget, a wrong answer to the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Let's move on, shall we? I call this one Dumber and Dumber -er 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 2. So there's Dumb and Dumber, and then there was Dumb and Dumberer, -er, and then Dumb and Dumber 2. Makes perfect sense. Now, going back a few decades, there was The Odd Couple and The Odd Couple 2. So. If another remake of The Odd Couple used the superlative adjective, it would be called the blank couple. Odd, otter, oddest, or otterist. Player three, the clock's running. Player two. Now that's just the dumberest answer I ever heard. <laughs> Player one. Odd is the adjective, otter is the comparative adjective, and oddest is the superlative adjective. But of course, everyone who made the original Odd Couple movies is dead, which means it's the perfect time for Rob Schneider to swoop in and revitalize the franchise. Question seven. Say hello to... Let it go, let it go, let it go! At which temperature would Olaf from the movie Frozen melt and die? 30 degrees Kelvin, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, or 30 degrees Rankin? He's a snowman. Time's a-wasting! Player two? Hmm, you may not know how temperatures work. <laughs> Player one. 30 degrees is below freezing in Fahrenheit and insanely below freezing in Kelvin and Rankin. But it's pretty balmy in Celsius, about the equivalent of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know, blah blah blah, he can magically be saved, but I'm talking about what would happen in the real world to a talking snowman. And on its way, Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, yeah. or Uranus? First spotted in 1879, Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Watch your time! Player one! That answer has a hole in it. Oh, honestly. Albert Einstein was first spotted in 1879, the year he was born. Probably by a midwife or something over a century after Uranus was discovered and even longer after kangaroos and peanuts. I've heard baby Einstein cried a lot because he left behind some important equations on the uterine wall. May I introduce wine or lose? 
If the Washington Redskins rebranded themselves with a non-offensive red-skinned mascot, what could they be called? The Washington Chardonnays, the Washington Malbecs, the Washington Pinot Blancs, or the Washington Rieslings? Player two, who gets the screw? You can't just leave your screw hanging out in the breeze like that. We'll try not to let that ruin the rest of the game. Player one. This is right. Oops. Uh, I mean, this is white, which is wrong. Want to see the right answer? Chardonnays, Pinot Blancs, and Rieslings are all white-skinned grapes, but the Malbec grape is red. Although to a connoisseur like myself, Malbec is very offensive. <laughs> oh yes, I do say that was quite a burn. This one's called, I Wanna Lick and Roll All Night. If Kiss singer Gene Simmons' tongue grew to the average length of an adult giraffe's, how deep into a woman's mouth could he stick it when he kissed her? About 5 inches deep, about 10 inches deep, about 20 inches deep, or about 30 inches deep? Not much time left. Player 2. Uh, no. It was begging to be picked. An adult giraffe's tongue is on average about 18 to 20 inches long. So that's about how deep into a woman's mouth a giraffe-tongued Gene Simmons could stick it. And if Gene Simmons' neck grew to the length of an adult giraffe's, he may not even need women anymore. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong. Ah, you already know the rules. Off you go. Your house is made of what? What materials are their houses made from? Good luck. takes it! Way to go, Player One. That must have been a very exciting win for you. I only say that because it looks like you don't get out much. Here's something else I say. You don't know Jack! Don't 
Let's say pajamas is the new game show that's taken the world by storm. Hosted by none other than Terry St. Pancakes, the only rule of this game is not to say the word pajamas. Mr. Edgar Loudshoes, come on down. I can't believe I don't say pajamas. What was that? You said pajamas. Now please sit down. Uh-oh. Remember, don't say pajamas. What do you call clothes that you sleep in? Ooh, uh... Pajamas? Nuts! Don't say pajamas. A word that rhymes with bojamas. Well, it's not pajamas. Poop. Literally, all you have to do to win is not say pajamas. Remember, in the final round, you are still not allowed to say pajamas. Then I'm gonna go with my god and say pajamas. Fudge pug! Catch all the action here on... Don't say pajamas! You all have to leave. Do you owe the IRS money and back taxes? 10,000, 20,000, 100,000? We can help. The law offices of Wilson, Hanson, Young & Associates can help you get out from under tax debt by faking your own death. It's true. For just a small fee, our lawyers will help you fake your death, easing your tax burden. Exploding motorcycle, alligator attack, saving the world from an asteroid. We promise your fake death will not only be convincing, it will be cool. No lame deaths, guaranteed. As an added bonus, we also provide a DVD of your funeral. See who comes, see who cries, see who suspects. And if anyone suspects, we'll, we'll take, take care, care of them. them. Call the law offices of Wilson, Hanson, Young & Associates to help you fake your death. And remember, we don't get paid until people are fully convinced you're dead. We also specialize in DUIs and wrongful paternity suits. I'm John Taylor, and starting today, get a free suit at John Taylor's Suit Emporium. Wow, how do I get a free suit? Just buy two suits and get a free suit upon purchase of your third suit. So I buy three suits and I get one free? Yes, purchase that third suit, and one of your previously purchased suits becomes... I am Cookie Masterson, and I shaved my nipples for this, so let's hurry before it grows back. Like, we need to get moving now. Hello, you three. Would you like separate checks, or can I put this all on one bill? There are your screws to get you started. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Flavored Eye Drops. Why let your mouth have all the fun? Flavored Eye Drops. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. So, let's make this happen. Get ready, time to crash in. To begin with, eat, pray, die. Which of these Julia Roberts characters would Jack the Ripper have been most likely to savagely murder? Aaron Brockovich, Vivian Ward, Tess Ocean, or Liz Gilbert? Player three, not much time left. Player one. This answer is worth ocean zero. <laughs> Player two. Vivian Ward is the name of the prostitute Julia Roberts plays in Pretty Woman. And almost all of serial killer Jack the Ripper's alleged victims were female prostitutes. So he'd probably have just loved to murder her. I can see it now. He'd open the box with his knife in it. She'd reach in and he'd playfully shut it, snapping her fingers. She'd laugh, he'd laugh, then he'd kill her. Take a stab at, if I only had a brain trust. Suppose the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz faced off against the Wicked Witch of the West in a public debate. If he wanted to use a straw man argument against her, what might he do? Attack the Wicked Witch's character rather than the issues? Misrepresent the Wicked Witch's position on the issues? Prove the Wicked Witch wrong using statistical data? Or interrupt the Wicked Witch before she finishes her points? Player one, who's gonna get it? 
A straw man argument purposefully misrepresents an opponent's position in order to strike it down. Here's how I would debate the Wicked Witch. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the two candidates you see here tonight is a Wicked Witch. Thank you, I yield the rest of my time. Player one, you are now the screwy. Up next, getting naughty, and this dis or dat leg's being tied up. Player one, I want you to play this dis or dat since you're behind at the moment. I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, you tell me if it's the name of a necktie knot or the name of a sex position recommended by Women's Health Magazine. If it's a necktie knot, press the X button. If it's a sex position, Press the B button. The rest of you ought to pay attention. Try to pick an answer before player one. If player one gets it wrong, I'll split that cash among everyone else who got it right. Alrighty then, here it comes. The Half Windsor. The Valedictorian. The Prince Albert. The Trinity. The Caboose. The Chairman. The Foreign Hand. You wear clip-ons, don't you? My usual sex position is also the way I usually tie a tie, alone, in front of a mirror. Here we have... Shop Till Everyone Drops. Say at Christmas time, every single item at your local mall sells out. According to a popular grim fairy tale, which of these stores has the best chance to be magically stocked overnight by hardworking elves? Footlocker, Radio Shack, Victoria's Secret, or Lens Crafters? Alright, player two, let me know who's getting screwed. Player one, you've been screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. In the grim fairy tale, The Elves and the Cobbler, a poor shoemaker is given some much-needed help by elves who appear in the middle of the night. And while the shoemaker made a nice profit, the elves were trampled to death on Black Friday. Player 2, this screw does not have a happy ending. Here's one I like to call... Okia Dokia. If you're driving between company headquarters, which trip should be the shortest? Ikea to Kia, Kia to Nokia, Nokia to Ikea, or Ikea Nokia and Kia headquarters are exactly the same distance apart. Player 3, the time is now! Player 1. Congratulations, not <laughs> Player two? You got it. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Smart people choose this. Nokia is based in Finland, and Ikea is based right next door in Sweden. Kia is based in South Korea. Whether it's phones, furniture, or cars, if it's got Kia in the name, you know it's gonna be cheap. I mean inexpensive. Inexpensive! <laughs> We've finished round one, and we've got a tie between players three and four. Who will come out ahead? Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And hint, hint, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Now get out there and make me proud. Coming up next, muscle milk was a bad choice. 
Say the News team from the Anchorman films decides to run a relay race against a rival news team. If Ron Burgundy is his team's anchor, when will he run? Before Brick, Brian, and Champ? After Brick and Brian, but before Champ? Before Brian and Champ, but after Brick? Or after Brick, Brian, and Champ? Watch the clock. Player one. Player two. What were you thinking there? Here's what a right answer looks like. In a relay race, the anchor, usually the fastest runner, goes last. And they would probably promote the race so incessantly that by the time it actually took place, you wouldn't be that interested in seeing it anymore. Question seven. Next. Guess who's Dak? Dak again. You know, I'm not an optimist, but I have to say, I feel like things have been going pretty well with the game so far. Send daddy for data doubt me! Oh no, my old ventriloquist puppet, Billy O'Brien! One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so... Who's the dummy? Not me! Billy, the whole creative team here decided to not include you in this game because you're too much of a troublemaker. Troublemaker? Me? No, I just got back from traveling the world, studying all the profound teachings of titular world spiritual leaders. For instance, which titular religious group was founded by someone with the last name of Smith? Protestants, Episcopalians, Trustitarians, or Nornons? Hello? Player two? I think you know it's coming. <laughs> Player one. The Mormon religion was founded in the 1800s by Joseph Smith. In America. So, which was your favorite religion you studied? Well, I particularly like the ones that treats the doubt reincarnation. Someday, I hope the Kondak is a beautiful coffee table. Follow me down to the sea. How about Orcas 11? Say I wanted to go around freeing the killer whales from every SeaWorld location in the world. How many separate rescue missions would I need to go on? Three rescue missions, four rescue missions, five rescue missions, or six rescue missions? Time's running out! Player two? Check, please. <laughs> Player one. Did you pick this on porpoise? <laughs> Allow me. There are three Sea Worlds. One in San Diego, one in San Antonio, and one in Orlando. So you would need to go on three separate rescue missions. Well, that sounds like a lot of traveling. Maybe I'll just pay that kid from Free Willy to do it. Something tells me he could use the cash. <laughs> And now, Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, yeah. or Uranus? The name of Jeff Dunham's purple-skinned puppet. Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Come on! Players one and two? His name is Peanut. I have to admit, people who talk through ventriloquist puppets kind of creep me out. That you talk through me! Quiet, Billy. Stop trying to get me to kill people. Whoa! Now you're creeping me out, man! Let's try the midnight run to the bathroom. 
According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, how would Paul Revere secretly signal to you that he has to pee in the sea? I have to do a number one in a one. I have to do a number one in a two. I have to do a number one in a three. Or, I have to do a number two in a one. <laughs> It's almost up. Player two. Honest mistake. <laughs> Player one. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's poem, Paul Revere's Ride, Paul's signal for the British was one if by land, two if by sea. And as we all know, a number one is a P. And Americans would have known about the British sooner if he hadn't stopped for a number four. You don't even want to know what that is. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see... T oh, do you need to be somewhere? My mistake. Here's your clue. This plus this equals that. What new thing do these combine to make? Good luck. Many calories as beer. Seat ups and lifting rocks, punching cops right in the teeth. When Glug Lights felt bottled or empty, no beer comes out, so you know it's empty every time. Wearing shorts, sweating a lot, hoping this will get Jenny back. Glug Lights felt comes in a bottle with its name on the label, so you don't get confused or give it to a baby. Rock hard abs and glistening pecs. Drinking beer while exercising. Getting tipsy, massive chafing. No pain, no gain. Be a cool tattoo. Get dehydrated, don't take breaks. Water shows the babes your weakness. Must get babes to make Jenny jealous. Jenny must know you're doing all right. Glug Lights felt. Glug Light! Hey, Jerry. Doing a little yard work? Oh, yeah. Just got some new garden gnomes. New garden? Oh, my. Look at the size of that garden gnome's... 
Oh, I see you noticed my gnome's giant package. I should have mentioned, these aren't regular garden gnomes. They're well-endowed garden gnomes from Gnome Mai. I bought the whole set. There's Python Petey, Busty Barbara, and my personal favorite, Giant Balls McGillicuddy. So, what do you think, Raj? I... I can't look away. Hey, boys, what you talking about? Sarah, don't come over here. Hi, Daddy. Ooh, look, garden gnomes. Kids, get in the house. Gnome Mai well-endowed garden gnomes. From the people who brought you lawn globes with nipples. Hey kids, are your parents out of the room? Yeah! Good, because I want to talk to you about CandyForGold.com. <laughs> At CandyForGold.com, we take all your parents' boring old gold and jewelry and send you back bags of delicious candy. But listen, we can't send you the candy unless you send us the gold. So here's what I need you to do. Wait till your mommy and daddy leave the house, sneak into their bedroom, and look through all their drawers. Oh, if you see anything made of shiny gold, just grab it. It doesn't even have to be made of gold. <laughs> Okay, we're on. Uh, attention, there are leftover french fries in the, uh, jack Welcome to Fibbage. I'm Cookie, and I promise that almost everybody will make it out alive. Alrighty, two players. Let me just write that down so I don't forget. Two players. Okay, let's do this. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for fooling your opponent with your lie. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. 
King Henry IV of Castile had the embarrassing nickname Henry the Blank. Now use your device to type a lie that might fool your opponent into believing it. If you get stuck for half the point, you can use the help button and get a suggestion. Do it now! Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and enter it on your device. Okay, let's take a look. Well, don't you feel foolish. <laughs> and look at what we have left. One single lonely pitiful lie. <laughs> All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. According to a Chinese myth, if a vampire comes across a sack of rice, he must blank. Type in your lies now. if you can't think of anything. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. And if they come across Anne Rice, they have to thank her for making them popular. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Blair Tolman wrote a self-help book called Blank for Under a Dollar, 301 Ideas. Enter your lies now. Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. All right, where's the truth? All right, let's see what everybody picked. Disclaimer, all of them will be first dates. And we're done. Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. Let's do it. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In 1726, a British woman named Mary Toft convinced doctors that she had given birth to blank. Type in your lies now. Use 
a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, here are your choices. All right, who picked what? And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. Select a category. It's not hard. You know what, we'll just stick with this one. Okay, here's the question. In 2013, the Romanian government, facing financial hardships, started taxing a group of people they had never taxed before. They started taxing blank. Enter your lies now. If you can't think of something. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? Well, you guys blew it. <laughs> Luckily for the witches, they could claim cats as dependents. And that means... <laughs> Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. According to a 2010 study, one child in the U.S. was injured every 46 minutes by a blank. Type in your lies now. if you can't think of anything. Okay, here are your choices. Alright, who picked what? Look what we have here. <laughs> and that means this lie didn't get picked. <laughs> Welcome to the final fibbage. This is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Here's your final fibbage question. Brand name of the patented synthetic testicles for pets. Enter your lies now. button if you can't think of something. Okay, 
Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. Well, you guys blew it. A cheaper option is to just not cut your dog's testicles off. And we're done.
Welcome to the game. I'm your host, Cookie, and I promise to pay attention this time. Okay, great. Table for two. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for fooling your opponent with your made-up answer. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. The mountain logo on a package of Toblerone chocolate contains a hidden image of a blank. Type in your lies now. Where's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. And nobody picked the other lies up there. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. In 1988, George H.W. Bush celebrated Halloween by dressing up as blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. And the rest of the board goes unselected. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. It's time for a road trip. When in Lafayette, Louisiana, be sure to check out their somewhat erotic statue of a shirtless blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody selected. If somewhat erotic isn't your speed, check out the pantsless firefighter statue one town over. And that means some of these didn't get picked. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. Exciting! Alright, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. After an allergic reaction to steroids used to treat asthma, a 28-year-old woman started growing blank on her head instead of hair. Enter your lies now.
Okay, here are your choices. Okay, let's take a look. Well, don't you feel foolish. <laughs> now when she wants to look nice, she goes out and gets a Manny Hetty. And we're done. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. Evergreen Cemetery includes an odd statue of Jesus wearing blank. Type in your lies now. Where is the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? Evergreen Cemetery is, of course, in Texas. And nobody picked the other lies up there. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In October of 2013, eight sixth graders from a New York college prep school were hospitalized after someone released blank in a classroom. Enter your lies now. for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, which one's the truth? Alright, who picked what? Most likely from being instantly dogpiled by dozens of supermodels. And that's it. Nobody else's lies got picked. It's time for the final fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. Former First Lady Barbara Bush wrote an official apology letter to this fictional character in 1990. Type in your lies now. if you can't think of anything. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? Well, 
you guys blew it. <laughs> the letter said, I'm sorry I had a cow. And nobody fell for this one.
It's drawful time. Only four players. No problem. You'll each get to draw twice. All right, enough jibber jabber. Let's play. Okay, I'm sending a title to each of your devices. Something kind of strange, like Cobra Commander or the Chris Gethard Show. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit send. And you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, just try your best. drawings, it's time for some fun. Um. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. Here's everybody's picks. Hmm, no one got that one right. Yikes. And now, this thing. Enter anything that could almost make sense now.
here are your choices. Thing. Ah! And here are your picks. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've been to a couple parties that looked exactly like that. <laughs> Okay, I'm sending out another round of titles for everybody to draw. One of you sent your picture in in time. That's awkward. Well, I guess we'll just do that one picture then. Oh. Next up. Thing. What did everybody pick? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You're a weird bunch of players. <laughs>
quick reminder to ask Cookie if he's lost any weight lately, even though he clearly hasn't. So this telecommuting thing, I mean, are people getting sick of Andy being on the TV? Shouldn't he be here? Well, I mean, that's why, I think, I mean, that's why I'm hoping this telecommuting thing works, because then, you know, once they can figure out how to get the the ions and the particles, and then you can, right, like in Star Trek, is that what you're talking about? No, he's just on the TV on a camera. He's not actually here. Right, but he's... It's part of the tele... He's trying to... What they're trying to do is zap him. It, that's it. And now, relax into Downward Dog. Ooh, what's wrong, Susan? Is this yoga class too hard? No, I had a burrito for lunch, and I'm feeling gassy. Honey... This is Sweet Relief Yoga Studio. We don't hold anything back. Now, swing your foot into Warrior 2. Whoa, did she just? Uh-huh. And that's okay? Does that answer your question? Hi, I'm Carol Cutter, and here at Sweet Relief Yoga Studio, we believe letting go leads to true health. Oh. <coughs> hold on, I'm gagging. True health. True health is what I was going to say. Cold beer taste no good. This is Glug Lightsville. Glug Lightsville is the only light beer that tastes like beer without as many calories as beer. Seat ups and lifting rocks, punching cops right in the teeth. When Glug Lightsville bottles are empty, no beer comes out, so you know it's empty every time. Wearing shorts, sweating a lot, hoping this will get Jenny back. Glug Lightsville comes in a bottle with its name on the label, so you don't get confused or give it to a baby. Rock on abs and glistening pecs, drinking beer while exercising, getting tips and massive chafing, no pain, no gain, be a cool tattoo, get dehydrated, don't take breaks, water shows the babes your weakness, must get babes to make Jenny jealous, Jenny must know you're doing alright. Glug Lights Felt. Glug Light! Uh, Cookie, that first breathalyzer was inconclusive. You're going to have to take another one. <sighs> okay, listen to me. I'm going to need a jug of beet juice, some WD-40, and a bag of peat moss. Stat. If we could clear all of the children from the set, we're about ready to start. Clear all the children. Not all the people in this office have watched it. Do you understand what I'm saying? They have not all watched That's fine. it. That's fine. I understand. Jeffrey died. I don't want to alarm anyone, but in the hallway there is a dog running on two legs. He's on two legs and he's running down the hallway. So if everyone could just get under their desks, we'll be fine. Don't Say Pajamas is the new game show that's taken the world by storm. Hosted by none other than Terry St. Pancakes, the only rule of this game is not to say the word pajamas. Mr. Edgar Loudshoes, come on down. I can't believe I went Don't Say Pajamas. What was that? You said pajamas. Now please sit down. Uh-oh. Remember, don't say pajamas. What do you call clothes that you sleep in? Ooh, uh, pajamas? <laughs> Nuts! Don't say pajamas. A word that rhymes with bojamas. Well, it's not pajamas. <laughs> Poop. Literally, all you have to do to win is not say pajamas. Remember, in the final round, you are still not allowed to say pajamas. Then I'm gonna go with my god and say pajamas. <laughs> Catch all the action here on Don't Say Pajamas! You all have to leave. Come on down to Barbecue Street all week for some great deals on food and fixes. Mondays, it's 25% off Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings. Tuesdays, it's 50% off whatever Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings are left over from Monday. Wednesday, we've got 10% off our famous dry spice ribs. But make sure to come back on Thursday for 60% off a sampler platter of Monday's leftover Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings and Wednesday's dry spice ribs. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and whenever I see an attractive woman, I make this sound. <laughs> well, look at this triumvirate of brainiosity is a miss. There are your screws to get you started. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. 
And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Slightly used balloons. The more these balloons deflate, the more your wallet inflates. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Okay, no turning back. Get ready, time for question. One. Right off the bat, Mexican do attitude. What dish could Porky Pig order at a Mexican restaurant without committing ca 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 cannibalism? Al Pastor, chorizo, ceviche, or lomo adobada? Time's a wasting. Players one and two. Churries no. Now pay attention. Ceviche is fish. Great idea. Give spicy Mexican food to someone who doesn't wear pants. Try this on for size. Mark TV. And it's a dis or dat. Player one. Why don't you play this dis or dat and see if you can catch up. I'm going to read off seven names and for each one tell me if it's a sales department on Walmart.com, an MTV show, or both. If it's a Walmart department, press the X button. If it's on MTV, press the B button. If it's both, press A. Now I need the rest of you to pay attention. Try to pick an answer before player one. If player one gets it wrong, I'll split that cash among everyone else who got it right. Alrighty then, here it comes. Bats! Cribs! Mugs! Skins! Juniors! Juvies! Tools. You're a tool. Walmart doesn't have a jackass department, though. Officially. Dance with me, Disco 3. Up next, just want to check in. Hey. How do you feel? With the pharynx? With the thoracic cavity? With the pulmonary veins? Or with the thalamus? Watch the clock! Player one, who do you want to screw? The screw is in you, player two. Five seconds to make a choice. Player one nicely screwed. Why not pick up a few more bucks? Player three? Ow. Next time, try this. Located just above the brain stem, the thalamus acts as the relay station, sending information like pain to the brain. That's fine, don't ask me how I'm feeling. I asked you how you feel, but whatever. Sure, it's, it's also with my thalamus, but it's just common decency to reciprocate. This one's called, For Whom the Dinner Bell Tolls. Ooh, it's almost time for my dinner. Better have this fortune cookie first, as prescribed by my doctor. Cookie, fortune, cookie. Hmm, not bad. Let's see what my fortune says. Laughter is the best medicine. Hmm, if that's true, which character from the nursery rhyme Hey Diddle Diddle is the healthiest? The cat, the little dog, the cow, or the spoon? Player two, who gets the screw? Uh, player two? You know you're supposed to screw someone else, right? I only ask because most people like to keep their cash. Can we continue now? 
Players one and three. In the Mother Goose nursery rhyme, hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the little dog is the one that laughs at all the crazy stuff going on. This was pre-YouTube, you understand, so if somebody told you a dog laughed, you just had to take them at their word. Why not try? I've had intimate thoughts about Adam. Which of these people is B.I. curious? Someone interested in sexually experimenting with barium? Someone looking to explore with bromine? Someone flirting with beryllium? Or someone fantasizing about bismuth? Watch the time! Player one! Player two? Where's that confounded right answer? The chemical symbol for bismuth is B.I. But as a society, we shouldn't put labels on things like this, except chemicals. You should label chemicals so you don't blow yourself up. Unless that's what you're into. Look, I don't know, man. Let's say so long to round one, and player one is ahead. This could get interesting. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. And don't forget, keep an eye out for the wrong answer of the game. It's still out there. Let's see what's in store. Pucker up for... Spit up or shut up. If Lady Gaga changed her name to the most common first word spoken by babies, what would she be called? Lady No, Lady Dada, Lady Cats, or Lady Mama? Hello? Players one and three? What a pity. Player two? According to a poll performed by YouGov, Dada or Daddy was by far the most popular first word spoken by babies, beating out Mama or Mommy by a considerable margin. <laughs> Lady Dada is a good name, right? Please just say yes, because that's the name of the screenplay I wrote for Adam Sandler. Question seven. Here's one for you. Childhood Murmuries. It looks like we have a sort of treat today. My good acquaintance, old man, somehow found his way into the studio again. How's it going, old man? Ah, terrible, Mr. Shapiro. Yeah, it's uh, Mr. Masterson, actually. Since when? Since birth. I know we're on Earth. <sighs> Anywho, I need your help remembering something. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that scurly up to the do? It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Speaking scurly up to, I forget. So, what is it you're trying to remember, old man? Well, it's something I used to do when I was just a lad. Uh, not sure the history books go back that far, but I'll see if I can help. Why don't you describe it to me? Sure thing, Nate. It's a game. British kids like to play it, I think. You get three strikes per turn, and seeds are involved somehow. What is that game? Would it be, uh, Conkers, Queenie Queenie, Marbles, or Five Stones? Player two, watch the time. Player three. Marbles? <laughs> I think you lost yours! Players one and two? You thinking of Conkers, old man? Hey, Conkers, yeah! And it's an old British kids game I used to play. <laughs> Each player has one of these seeds called a Conker, and they take turns whacking at them. Three whacks per turn. Why is that fun? <laughs> It's hard to imagine you as a little kid, old man. Well, I look pretty much the same, minus the liver spots. Didn't start growing those till my early 20s. Mm-hmm. And when did you start smelling like liver? Hmm, that depends. When was liver invented? Follow me down to the sea. Oh,
Here's a good one. All rise for the Honorable Dinwoody Fudnuddler. If trees brought a class action lawsuit against the Lumberjacks, which Dr. Seuss character would they most likely hire as their legal counsel? The Cat in the Hat, the Grinch, Pop, or the Lorax? Player two? Sorry, no take backs. <laughs> Players one and three? The Lorax speaks for the trees. And in a lawsuit, the legal counsel speaks for its client, in this case, the trees. <laughs> it makes sense the Lorax would be a lawyer. He always sues. <laughs> Take a good look at... There's a question in my pants and you're all invited. It's the put the choices into order then buzz in and see if you are right. Question! Okay, as usual, if you get this correct, there's a little extra in it for you. Speaking of extra, put these underwear styles in order from least butt cheek revealing to most butt cheek revealing. Thong, bikini, tonga. Bikini, tonga, thong, tonga, thong, bikini, thong, bikini, tonga, or tonga, bikini, thong. Player three, not much time left. Player two, I think you know it's coming. Player one. Player three. Bikini style underwear cover the butt cheeks more than Tonga style, and Tonga style cover more than thong, which leave your butt cheeks pretty much all out there. That'll net you an extra grand. But really, any style that doesn't expose my vestigial tail works fine for me. Next up, feeling fines. I love that actor from Schindler's List and the English Patient. You know, the one who plays Voldemort? But I'm never certain if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. What's the proper way to say that Mr. Fines has to throw up? Ralph has to Ralph, Reef has to Ralph, Rolf has to Ralph, or Rafe has to Ralph? Time's almost up! Player three? <laughs> Player one? Sucks to be you. <laughs> Player two? Yep, Rafe Fine's first name is spelled like Ralph, but pronounced Rafe. And his brother Joseph Fines is pronounced Joseph, but it's spelled L-E-S-S-F-A-M-O-U-S. -S -S it's a weird British thing. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press... Oh, I'll just shut my mouth then. Here's your clue. I love you like a legal guardian. I hope you know who adopted or just took care of who.
bad player won. You made mincemeat out of players two and three. And do you know what the hell is in mincemeat? Well, some things are better left unsaid. Except for this, of course. You don't know Jack! Do you owe the IRS money and back taxes? $10,000, $20,000, $100,000? $20, we can help. The law offices of Wilson, Hanson, Young & Associates can help you get out from under tax debt by faking your own death. It's true. For just a small fee, our lawyers will help you fake your death, easing your tax burden. Exploding motorcycle, alligator attack, saving the world from an asteroid. We promise your fake death will not only be convincing, it will be cool. No, no lame deaths, deaths guaranteed. guaranteed. As an added bonus, we also provide a DVD of your funeral. See who comes, see who cries, see who suspects. And if anyone suspects, we'll, we'll take, take care, care of them. them. Call the law offices of Wilson, Hanson, Young & Associates to help you fake your death. And remember, we don't get paid until people are fully convinced you're dead. We also specialize in DUIs and wrongful paternity suits. Anton Jones was the greatest detective in the world. I noticed a gray speck on your jacket, which could only have come from a quarry upstate. Gentlemen, the murderer is the mayor. But after a terrible accident... I'm afraid his body won't make it, but we can save his brainwaves. The greatest mind in the world now resides in a pocket calculator. Where am I? No! And with the help of a friend, he'll crack the case and crunch some numbers. Don't you see, John? There's no way his wife could have killed him. That's great. But how much should I leave for this tip? Oh, uh, 15% of 2850 is, uh... From the producers of Tommy Gulch, Attorney Stripper, comes Calculator Jones P.I. Any last words, Calculator Jones? Boobs? <laughs> Boobs. Free! Police! I'll be back on the street in no time! Then I guess I'll calc you later. Cookie Masterson, and uh, anybody know how long you have to cook a chupacabra? I hope you three know each other pretty well, because this could get ugly. Everybody's got their screws. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button, and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Team Sasquatch, a new drama on the Angst Network. He's mysterious, he's elusive, and he drives the girls wild, like him. Mondays at 8. Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. <laughs> Alright, let's move. Get ready, time for question. Right off the top, not so smart Alec. What is Alec Baldwin most likely to scream at a dude with a camera who works as part of the paparazzi? Fuck you, you fucking paparazzi! I'll fuck you in the ass, evil paparazzo! Get fucked with a paparazzi! Or I'll break your fucking camera with my paparazzi! Watch your clock! Player two? You're probably going to have to issue some kind of apology. <laughs> Player one. The singular term for paparazzi is paparazzo. <laughs> and as a rule, paparazzi are borderline vile, but you still shouldn't f them in the fing That's just sinking to their level. Oh, mama gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Tell you so. Coming up next, Drake a leg. Ah! Oh my god, for a second there I thought I saw my ventriloquist dummy Billy O'Brien again. I've been having visions of him just showing up at the most in our two times. Ah! One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? 
Not me. It really is you. It's always me, you dunny. I was hoping you were just a mirage. A mirage that we're not in a desert. Oh, speaking of which, where would you be if you saw me as a mirage in the Gobi Desert? Pakistan, Mongolia, Peru, or Mexico? Watch your time! Players one and two? What were you thinking there? <laughs> Here's where the money is. Yes, the Gobi Desert is in China and Mongolia. Just don't sneak up on me anymore, Billy. Okay, no troddling. Uh, someday I'm gonna murder you. I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing, I didn't say anything. How about shacking up? Where should a large shacko be worn on Shaq O'Neal? His extra large ears, his big feet, his large head, or his massive hands? Time's running out. Player two. Uh-oh. Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Shackos are a military-style hat with a large feather in the front, often worn by marching band leaders. It would be the most ridiculous thing he's worn since Kazam. Player one. Do you believe in big feet? Well, you should, because you just won an autographed poster of Ketor, the sexy Sasquatch star of Teen Sasquatch on the Inkst Network. If you think Bigfoot was sexy before, you ain't seen nothing yet -y. This wrong answer of the game got you $4,000. Nice job. Take a stab at Russian ladies looking for young men. And stop the train, it's a dis or dat. Player two? Why don't you play this dis or dat and see if you can't catch up a bit. I am going to list off seven things. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's... Something that happens to Anna Karenina in Tolstoy's classic novel, Anna Karenina, or... A Justin Timberlake song. If it's Anna Karenina, press the X button. If it's Justin Timberlake, press the B button. The rest of you should still keep your eyes open. Lock in your answers before Player 2 does, and if Player 2 gets it wrong, I'll split that cash among everyone who got it right. Cool, let's do it. Adultery. Childbirth. Murder. Amnesia. Suicide. Future sex. Nothing else. Apparently you don't know the classics. And you don't know much about Anna Karenina either. I keep meaning to reread Anna Karenina, but I've been waiting for a time when I really want to fall into a deep, deep depression. Here's one I like to call, Woody or Wouldn't He? What would it mean if Woody Allen were an alleged pedorthist? He's been accused of touching shoes, he's been accused of touching grapes, he's been accused of touching bugs, or he's been accused of touching feces. Not much time left. Player one. Could be worse, you know, in theory. <laughs> Player two? Check, please. <laughs> oh, honestly. A pedorthist is a doctor or healthcare professional who focuses on feet, especially shoes and inserts that can help with pain relief. And look, I'm not saying he's a shoe doctor, and I'm not saying he's not a shoe doctor, but the one thing we can all agree on is that The Curse of the Jade Scorpion was a terrible movie. <laughs>
out. That'll wrap up round one. And player one is in the lead. And quite impressively, I might add. Don't forget, all the questions around two are worth double. And don't forget about your screws. You didn't come here to make friends. <laughs> Say hello to Pup All Night. Considering their lifespans, which dog from the first Puppy Bowl would be the least likely to be alive to watch Puppy Bowl 11? That adorable Poodle Puppy, that adorable Great Dane Puppy, that adorable Dachshund Puppy, or that adorable Pug Puppy? Time is short. Player two? Uh, nah. -uh. <laughs> Player one. As a general rule, the bigger the dog, the shorter the lifespan. So the Great Dane with a life expectancy of about seven years is, um, probably not going to make it. Oh, we're going to get some angry posts on our Facebook page about this question, I can tell. But it's not my fault we live in a world where horrible things happen. Question seven. And now, beautiful millionaires are just so relatable. Say the incredibly down-to-earth Jennifer Lawrence decides to go skydiving. If on her way down-to-earth she reaches terminal velocity, what down-to-earth thing might you hear her say? Wowzer, I could not be going down-to-earth any faster. Aw oh, man, I'm going down-to-earth slower every second. Lol, I broke the sound barrier on my way down-to-earth. Or, cool beans, I'm actually now going away from Earth. Not much time left. Player two? Whoa! Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Player one. A falling object or adorable movie star that has reached its terminal velocity will not speed up anymore on its descent before hitting the ground. It's falling as fast as it can. But even if she fell to her death, I bet Jennifer Lawrence would leave the most adorable crater. Open wide for Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, yeah. or Uranus. Closely associated with Miranda and Ariel. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Who are you gonna screw? Player two, you're screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. Player one, your screw worked out. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Player one. Miranda and Ariel are two of the larger moons of Uranus. And you can't have moons without Uranus. Hey, we were supposed to have a tuba there to accentuate the butt joke. Where's the tuba guy? Uh, he was in a car accident on the way over, Cookie. He's, he's dead. Hey, trombone guy made it! <laughs> I call this one, I caramba, I'm a cold-blooded killer. Say Bart Simpson decides to start going around attacking authority figures with his slingshot. If it turns out like the story of David and Goliath, what might happen? Principal Skinner will die after getting shot in the forehead. Chief Wiggum will die after getting shot in the gut. Mayor Quimby will die after getting shot in the heart. Or Homer Simpson will run away after getting shot in the groin. Player two, who's gonna get that screw? Player one, you've been screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. Get out of here! Seriously, get out of here. Well played, screw player two. You want even more cash? Player two? 
David slays Goliath after slinging a stone into the middle of the giant's forehead. So that's how Principal Skinner might meet his untimely demise as well. But it really wouldn't be that much of a loss. Springfield is literally crawling with people who sound exactly like him. Let's try... I'm gonna need two oceans of calamine lotion stat. If the 80s hairband poison were like poison ivy, what part of them would give people a rash? The fumes from their hairspray, the oil in their makeup, the silk on their rockin' clothes, or the ink in their tattoos? Hello? Player 2? Correct answer, show yourself. Coming in contact with the oil on a poison ivy plant is what causes the skin to break out in a rash. So if the band poison were similar, it would probably be best not to touch their oily makeup. In fact, it's probably best not to touch any part of the band poison. You have no idea where they've been for the past 25 years. Step right up to the jack attack. When you okay, if that's how you want it, here's the clue. Climb time. What did these guys climb? Good luck. takes it! Player one, I guess a win is a win no matter how you slice it. And you sliced it pretty damn thin. So I leave you with these words. You don't know Jack! Hi, I'm Kyle Pepper. And ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Well, now I'm 36 and going nowhere fast. So that's why I'm starting Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. We only have three rules. One, everyone's welcome regardless of gender or race. Two, every team starts with five runs so they don't feel bad. And three, every Tuesday night, we trade spouses and experiment sexually. Okay, okay, you probably just said, I can't believe what I just heard. You start with five runs? Tryouts are this Thursday at 6 in my backyard, with a small tickle party starting at 9. Kyle Pepper's Professional Baseball League. I can't wait to meet you! No matter who you are, you have dreams. I want to be an astronaut.
astronaut. I want to be a doctor. A dinosaur. And Angie's ice creamery wants to hear them. Come into any Angie's to tell us your dream, and you'll get a dreamsicle absolutely free. I want to be a teacher. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be a surfer. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be best friends with a horse. Here's a free dreamsicle. Is this where we tell the dreams? It sure is. I'm standing naked, looking into a mirror. My face is not my own. A small fire burns beside me and I face it. A young calf slowly melts into the flames. It looks at me and speaks. This is what remembering does, it says. And then I'm in a field, it's raining. I cannot move my legs, but steadily I go forward. Through the tall grass towards a grave. I cannot read it, but I do not need to. This grave is mine. And then I wake up. Um, do you want a dreamsicle? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, everything is pleasant now. What are all you kids looking at? <laughs> Angie's Ice Creamery. It's a dream come true. Welcome to the game, I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, and I hate to toot my own horn, but... Oops, sorry, that wasn't mine. There we go, that one's mine. Okay, you three, squeeze in, smile! I'm not gonna take your picture, I just wanted to see you squeeze in and smile. Handle those screws carefully! You can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... Kale Mart! If you find a single thing in our store that is not associated with kale, it's free! Kale Mart! We don't even know what kale is, and we don't care! Try to choose the wrong answer brought to you by our sponsor to get prizes and cash. <laughs> okay, it's time. Get ready, time for fashion! Let's start with... Male Enhancement. Just taking a moment to open my mail. Something I like to do every couple of years. Hmm, probably should have paid that. Ah, an old Christmas card. Well, let's see what it says inside. Well, it's been a big year for the whole family. Junior learned to drive, mom changed jobs, and dad started a drug empire cooking and selling high-quality methamphetamine. Hmm, what TV family is this Christmas card from? The greens, the browns, the blacks, or the whites? Player 3, Ted's running out! Player two. <laughs> Player one. That was quality. <laughs> Allow me. Why, yes, this card is from Walter and Skylar White and their son Walt Jr. from the show Breaking Bad. And I'd read you the rest of the letter, but it's full of spoilers. Next, positive feedback. What much you hear from a kingfisher that's fishing for compliments? So did anybody notice I just got my scales waxed? So did you guys see I'm wearing my fur differently? So how does everyone like my new gill tattoo? Or isn't anybody gonna mention my new feather do? Watch the time! Player one! Are you fishing for an insult? Okay, you're a dope. How's that? <laughs> Player two? A kingfisher is a type of bird. You know, those things with feathers. <laughs> wow, talk about a needy, insecure bird. Oh my god, it's been 15 minutes. Somebody tell me I'm handsome. Interns, somebody tell me I'm handsome. You're handsome, sir. So handsome, Mr. Masterson. Oh, let's never cut it that close again. Dance with me. And on its way, Lucy in the sky with rubles. And oh yes, it's a dissertat. Player one. 
Your score is the lowest, so why don't you play this this or that? I'm going to read off seven quotes totally out of context. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's something said by legendary pop star Elton John or something said by Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. If it was said by Elton John, press the X button. If it was said by Vladimir Putin, press the B button. The rest of you ought to pay attention. Lock in your answers before player one, because if player one gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split the cash. All right, let's get started. I do like Britney Spears. I think she's cute. I go to the gym. I swim daily. I myself know some people who are gay. I think happiness is love. I collect emotions. In America, I de I'm deploying troops to your score. Look, there is a lot of political turmoil in the world. We must trust Elton John's song, The Circle of Life. It's a simple philosophy that says this. No matter what happens, we can rest assured that one day, Vladimir Putin will be eaten by a lion. Here we have... I hunger for love. If each member of the Hunger Games love triangle brought something different to the relationship, which of these arrangements would actually result in Katniss catching fire? Katniss brings air, Peta brings friction, and Gail brings time. Katniss brings friction, Peta brings fuel, and Gail brings inert gas. Katniss brings heat, Peta brings time, and Gail brings oxygen. Or Katniss brings heat, Peta brings fuel, and Gail brings oxygen. <laughs> Player two? Any last words? Not too late. <coughs> Player one? You'll rue the day! <coughs> Here's what you meant to pick. The so-called fire triangle outlines what is needed to start and maintain fire, which is heat, fuel, and oxygen. Remove one, no fire. <coughs> but I'm sure you could get rid of PETA and it would still be hot. It's time for one show down, fourteen thousand three hundred twelve to go. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. And I'll throw some extra roses at you for a right answer. Put these Broadway musicals in order of longest to shortest original runs: Grease, Rent. Spamalot. Rent, Grease, Spamalot. Spamalot, Rent, Grease. Rent, Spamalot, Grease. Or Grease, Rent, Spamalot. Watch the clock. Player two? You got it. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Player one? This would have worked. Opening in 1996, Rent ran for 12 years. Grease opened in 1972 and ran for 8 years. And Spamalot opened in 2005 and had a 5 year run. Of course, none of these tops the musical Cats, which ran for 233 straight years. Hard to believe, but true. Good for them. That about does it for round one. And we've got a tie between players three and four. Are you trying to be cute, or is that just a coincidence? Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And let's see some screwing out there. We don't want them getting rusty. Coming up, Chucky Balls. I just love Chuck E. Cheese. Especially those big ball pits with all the colorful balls that I, uh, uh, kids jump around in. So tell me this. Imagine, just hypothetically, that each color ball in a Chuck E. Cheese ball pit were a different virus. When you dive in, which ball could you definitely not come into contact with? A ball that causes polio, a ball that causes herpes, a ball that causes rape. Alright, player two, let me know who's getting screwed. Oh, <laughs> 
Player three, you're getting screwed. You got five seconds. Sweet dreams. Player two, that was some mighty fine screwing. Want a little more money? Player one. <laughs> Player two. Herpes, polio, and rabies are all caused by a virus. Plague is caused by a bacteria, so none of those virus balls could give you plague. Plague is spread by rodents, but luckily not singing animatronic rodents like the ones you find at Chuck E. Cheese. Hey, anyone want to go to Chuck E. Cheese after the game? Question seven. Here's one I like to call Leafy Laughter. Imagine an episode of Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis being filmed with a set of two new freshly sprouted ferns. Based on the name for fern sprouts, what might be a better name for that episode? Between Two Saplings with Zach Galifianakis? Between Two Pup Shoots with Zach Galifianakis? Between Two Fronds with Zach Galifianakis? Or Between Two Fiddleheads with Zach Galifianakis? Player one, who's gonna get it? Player two, you've been screwed! You got five seconds! A fern sprout is called a fiddlehead based on its shape, which resembles the top of, you guessed it, a fiddlehead. And like Zach Galifianakis, they take about 40 years to fully blossom. Unfortunately, player one, you're screwed. Coming up next, Escargo for Margo. Okay guys, I've got a theory and I think it's pretty solid. Follow me on this. The movie Key Largo came out in 1948 and the next major Argo movie was Fargo. So there may have been a secret Argo embargo. Ergo, how long was the next Argo embargo between Fargo and Argo? Seven years, 12 years, 17 years, or 22 years? <laughs> Player one. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Player three. How do you say, uh, no? <laughs> Player two. Fargo came out in 1996 and Argo in 2013. Ergo, a 17-year Argo movie embargo. <laughs> and you know what never went out of style that entire time? Cargo pants. <laughs> Say hello to, to be or not to be, Arthur. Hi, this is Corky, and how about them Golden Girls, huh? Old man, what the hell are you doing? Get away from the microphone. But I need to ask a question. G give me, oh, give damn me, it, I, give me that. No, Listen I have to me, you stupid old, oh, give it to me. Ow. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that scurly up do 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 It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Scurly, scurly up do I forget. All right, all right! Just one question, and then you are out of here. Okay, two questions, great. One question! All right, all right, don't get your panties in a... Whatever. I'm just trying to remember this one thing. Hmm. I'm trying to think of this lovely singing gentleman. He was friends with those Muppet puppets, and he lived in Colorado. He talked to God in all those movies, and then he died in a plane crash. And now he's probably talking to the real God. <laughs> Who the heck was that guy? Okay, was it Engelbert? Player three, where's that screw going? The screw is in you, player two. Five seconds to make a choice. <laughs> Superb screwing, player three. Why not grab a few more bucks while you're at it? Day no! Day no! 
smart people choose this? Yes, old man, it's country folk singer-songwriter John Denver. You're talking about John Denver. I'm not talking about him. You are. Why were you trying to remember John Denver, old man? I wasn't. What are you talking about? You just commandeered this game to ask a question about him. Who? John Denver. <laughs> Never heard of him. Toodle boy. Ah! <laughs> I call this one, Menage a Treat. Who would not be invited to a Neapolitan threesome? Vanilla Ice, Strawberry Shortcake, The Band, Sexual Chocolate, or Liz Lemon? Player one, not much time left. Player three. Player two. Sexual chocolate shows up at every threesome. <laughs> Player one. Neapolitan ice cream consists of strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla, but not lemon. So Liz Lemon would not be invited. <laughs> Remember, approaching a threesome is just like eating ice cream. If you go at it too quickly, you might damage the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press... Ah, you already know the rules. Off you go. Watch this Peter P. Who's the Peter P? Good luck. score that's lower than zero. That's like running a race backwards. Except that you don't have to be in shape to play a trivia game. By the way... You don't know Jack! Hi, I'm Tony Pancheesi, owner of DIY Spaghetti Emporium, where DIY stands for Do It Yourself. I mean it. I don't have any staff, so you're doing everything in this restaurant for yourself. And my name isn't Tony Pellucci. You're waiting your own table. You're cooking your own meal. And buddy, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean, capiche? So now you think your night's over because your family's done eating, huh? We close at 11.30. So get your ass back out there and wait on that two-top in section four. Nobody ducks out early on me, come on pedestrian. And have you seen the state of those bathrooms? One of the women's toilets has a clog that could choke a horse. 
So if you're ready for a home-cooked Italian meal and earn half the minimum wage, come on down to DIY Spaghetti Emporium. Ask for me, Rachel Hanrahan. Are you moving? Do you need some strong guys to help you move? Are you emotionally cold or in need of a psychological breakthrough? Then call three strong guys. Emotional movers. Could you be careful with the bookcase? It's an antique. No problem. Hey, are you okay? Uh, I just got promoted and all my dad said was, guess you're not so dumb after all. Sometimes older men have a hard time expressing emotion, and they hide the love behind sarcasm and humor. Trust me, he's proud. Maybe you should give him a call. I don't know. I've already got him on the phone. Son? Is that you? I love you, Dad. I love you, son. So give us a call and let us help you move. Also, it's okay to forgive yourself.